Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Cold Waters, episode number 10. Um, if you remember in the last episode, we were kind of being chased down in the Barents Sea, uh, east of our farther, farthest east Sosa's Barrier. Um, basically, there's the farther east Sosa's Barrier, you have like uh, Norway, Finland, and I was over here. So right as I loaded the game, I was caught. Uh, one kind of really minor tweak I would love for them to make is to start games loading games into... Um, paused uh this i mean this is always like i i feel like i'm mashing the space bar the moment uh i'm loading a game that's why i, I mean obviously when i want to record yeah i have to do that but even when i'm just trying to play on my own i want to like take a moment to see where things are before the map closes on <laughs> closes in on, closes in on me as it did here okay so we have plenty of armaments it's a surface fleet, 254. I don't have to fight them. What are my orders right now? Oh, I'm expected to, I, I mean, I need to wait around here and take out another fleet tender anyway. Okay, all right, well, let's, let's go ahead and man battle stations and rig for ultra quiet. We're, we're already rig dead stopped, so let's just go ahead and dive down. Let's take a look at the, the conditions. Uh, 640, it's not too deep. I also did not get the map yet. I wanted to get no layer whatsoever, and it's pretty quiet. I mean, sorry, noisy. That's not going to help me. And we already have some contacts. Well, let's just start identifying them. Hard to port. Um, okay, what do we have? Surface fleet is all ASW, I'm assuming. Okay, a okay. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as escort. That is a. That is. That is very bad. <laughs> Kara is a damn fine ship, unfortunately. I think the Udaloy might be. Yeah, the Udaloy is just the only thing better than that. Okay, anyway, we have S1 Kara. Let's get S2. Hopefully not. Okay, let's go back this way. I'm assuming it's another surface contact. Getting closer, getting closer. What? Do we actually have a submarine? Passing 200 feet. Huh. Con a November. Sonar, Sierra 2 is classified as submarine. Okay, well we submarine. have a November and a Kara and this and something else is out there too, but we have the November already. And I don't think we're going to wait. We're just going to launch tube one. Let's go active. Con and November's really noisy, so ah, there's Sierra four, three. Okay. One, designated Sierra three. Let's launch. And let's launch at the carrier right afterwards. So I'm actually going to launch from this screen. Um, something like this. I'm going to control it myself a little bit. We need a little more depth as well. I wish I had a little bit of a better reading on this Kara. Ooh, wow, okay, so she must be the older Udaloy, but geez, I gotta tell you, we have a, such a good contact on this November. Uh, don't have very good torpedoes, but... Okay, well, let's just do it. Let's go ahead and launch. Two, two, one. Aye, sir. And launch at the Kara as well. Shoot two, three. Aye, sir. Probably I did this the wrong way. Two, one should have gone to Kara. Two, three should have gone to the November, just because I think that's the sides that they're on. It's the left side for one and two, and three and four on the right. Hard to do, hard to find them, but they're there. Okay, so we have two away. Let's figure out what this third contact is. I would be very surprised if it's another submarine. Let's find out. I imagine it's another patrol ship. No, not quite. Con sonar lost contact. Ah, lost him. Sierra three last bearing two three eight contact faded. Well, the funny thing is, we it's, this November is just so darn noisy. I don't know what it's even doing out here. You kind of feel bad for it. We have this Kara a little bit better now. 
We, I think we have four contacts because we had another um, sonar ping coming from somewhere be like below there. It's below the Kara. All right, well, let's go ahead and turn away a little bit. Start heading southeast. Even though actually shallower water is that way, I'd, I'd rather head towards deeper water. Not that we are really given much choice here. <laughs> Speaking of deeper water, is our toad ray? Oh my gosh, we're already so shallow that we can't use our toad ray? Ugh. Yeah, this is a problem. Let's come up a little bit until that toad ray goes active again. That might be the reason why we lost. Fire control, weapon acquired. Which one acquired? Okay, that one. That might be the reason why we lost. Kara, by the way, uh, CR3. Okay, Kara's are extremely noisy. We're gonna go passive for both of these. Move it to stop it, don't go active Con, yet. Con, sonar, Sierra, I knew three it. Is All right, we have two, three. We're just gonna guide it manually to the Kara. Go to the surface. There we go. You have it yet? No, you're Console really stubborn. Maker bearing two, nine, one. Do you have it yet? No, man. come on. Don't make me do this the entire way. Here's Con, your target. Control, weapon acquired. There we go. Finally. Okay, how are we doing? We're still doing okay. Let's take a look at the map, see if things are actually going okay. Con, sonar oh, lost okay, we got the November. Sierra, two, last bearing, two, eight, nine. There's November breaking up as our other torpedo attempts to find its way home. I'm expecting a noisemaker here. None has been forthcoming yet. Nice. Hey, two down. Good start. Let's go ahead and uh, increase our or decrease our depth a little bit. Again, I'm just worried about. The toad array not being active. Okay, should be enough. Ah, now we wait. Wait for more contacts. Nothing. I mean, if we wanted to be really ballsy, we could... Well, here, let's reload things while we're waiting, but... We could surface... Oh, God. Torpedo in the water. Make turns for three, three knots. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Yeah, well, not much we're going to be able to do about that. Is this a helicopter? It is. Of course it's a helicopter. Of course it would be a helicopter. And we haven't been acquired yet. Okay, well, let's get down to the bottom. With any luck, we'll be out of range. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Is it going in a circle? Are we out of range? Passing 500 I mean, we're making our presence very, very clear. Let's step it down one notch so that we actually no stop cavitating. cavitating. Like so. And uh, that's close enough. Close enough to the bottom. Don't think we can chance going much lower. And I, gosh, I really don't want to head this direction because this is going to take me into shallower waters. I want to go to deeper waters. It's the wrong way. Well, we were able to survive this lousy helicopter torpedo. I always get you. So that's a miracle. Be very, Con, we're very happy about row, that. Tube three ready. There's only one. There is. Okay. Oh, I think he's moved because yeah, he's now close to me again. Well, let's go ahead and rig for ultra quiet once again and see if we can detect something. 
we got to come up a little bit to once again enable our toad array. Let's do that. Passing 500. We have to go to 400 ish. Okay. Slow down. Two, and d six, stop our nine. descent or ascent. <laughs> you, you increase your depth, but you by ascending, but you no wait. You increase your depth by descending. That's why it's a word jumble for me. <laughs> okay, let's see what we see. Do we see anything? We're back to a nice quiet position. We're not getting anything. We should, though. Uh, another one. No, no, no. no, no da, 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 da. Oh my gosh. Make turns. Con sonar. We are cavitating. Well, might be getting lucky again. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Hold here. Overshot a little bit. It's like that one's going around in circles. We've gotten lucky so far. I hate the Barren Sea. I hate shallow water. Done. We're at 26 knots, but they're basically driving me into their fleet. I don't want to do that. Okay, I think what we're going to have to do is rig for ultra quiet again, and we just have to hope we get some kind of contact with CR3. And there is a CR4. Remember, I saw another, uh, like an, a separate ping. Although now, I'm thinking that might have been the helicopter. I wasn't really paying attention. That could be the helicopter. We might only have one other... What was Sierra 3, by the way? I didn't ever... Yeah, I didn't ever verify what it was. Um, is that another? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I just saw it light up again because we detected it. It was in our baffles. Okay, now it's in our baffles. But we don't have to worry about it, I think. I hope. Because we're moseying out of range. All right, let's... Rig ship for ultra quiet. Ultra quiet yet again. And once again, push ourselves up to around 400. Uh, the game continues. You know, eventually, they will run out of torpedoes. I mean, they obviously don't have a very good idea of where I am. Okay, and that's pretty far away. This, this, the helicopter's on the way, all the way on the opposite side of that torpedo. Which, by the way, I. Huh. Okay. So the helicopter's way over here. Or something. Are we getting anything? Passing 400 feet. No, nothing. Con sonar regained contact on Got Sierra him. three bearing two five oh. nine. It's another. Con sonar, Sierra 3 is classified as. It's another care. Where is she? Really far away? Hmm. I just. I want to sneak into deeper water, which I can do just by continuing to go west. So I think. Let's just continue to move at this exact heading. Um, this course is going to take us kind of into deeper water. We'll have to watch out. It looks like it gets shallower here again, but. Um, it'll also keep us at a pretty, almost a per parallel course to the carrier, which will be the best way of gaining a better firing solution. So let's see how she goes. Hopefully we don't get hit by a torpedo faster than I can react. Okay, we're definitely getting some information on this Kara. I might, I might as well just fire at her just to sink her and then get out of this mission. Three torpedoes and three ships. I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, I guess two ships and a submarine. Yeah, I'd be pretty happy with that. And again, we're still not exactly sure how it works with um, whether or not the Russians actually have a limited number of ships. And if you sink all these ASW patrols, does it actually impact their ability to send fleets out? I don't know. Those are all good questions that I don't, know, that I don't yet have answers for. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the last care out. No way, she's got very good anti-air capabilities. 
I mean anti-missile capabilities. So let's go ahead and just use a, a torpedo. And I'm pretty confident this will be a hit. So let's go ahead and launch. Actually, let's do it the right way this time. Let's launch from tube three. Yes, that's correct. And let's witness the launch as well. Shoot tube three. There it is. It's out the correct side. We've done it. And now we wait and we see what happens. Doesn't look like she notices yet. Okay, just turn a little bit. There you go. guide her ourselves. I could just go active, which would surely allow her to acquire the carib. Big I mean this is a noisy ship. And it's kinda noisy out. Let's use passive. Oh, it hasn't locked on yet. Yeah, there it is finally. <laughs> it was a mystery for a while. Alright now let's just make sure that we don't get hit in the meantime. Start turning in toward the Kara, narrow our profile. We're basically giving it a lot of surface area for that sonar to bounce off of right now. Although the Kara has, it is the older Udaloy, so it's not, it's just not going to be capable of detecting us, even with her toad array. Looks like it's not going to matter anyway. She is very soon going to become another wreckage adorning the bottom of the Barents Sea. Measures, I imagine. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing two nine and let's one. Just manually override that. Why is it so effective against my torpedo, but I, my own countermeasures were not effective against? <laughs> I think I, I launched it too late. People were saying. I think you, were, they were right. And we got her. Okay, good. So can we quit now? Yes, we can. Leap combat. There was a cannon undetected. I'm perfectly okay with not sinking every single one of these ships. Okay. Um, let's go north. I'm waiting for the, uh, the other ship in the Barents Sea. We'll just kind of dance around the different helicopter or, you know, airplanes. Ah. <laughs> if they catch us from the north side, okay, this is probably our target. So let's go ahead and take her out. Now... That's funny that this appeared because I actually just remembered we haven't loaded up a new torpedo yet. Oh, never mind. It gives you a chance. Soviet strike into Sweden. Major. Watch this right here. Huh? What the heck? Where's our navy? What the heck you mean? Ah. Okay. Did I? Oh, I did. I I did pause. Okay, good. So let me just reload this. And continue on course. And I think we were right-click going patrol speed. Yes, 10 knots means patrol speed. It's kind of funny that this thing stays <laughs> up, but anyway. But I would have had a chance to do it here. That's what I realized. Anyway, contacts at 286. Man, battle station 286. Quiet. Looks like to our southwest. No, just to the west. Uh, we're, we're really not going there. 286, did I see that right? How are they all the way to my west already? Where's my location? Rick, Rick, ship, quiet. Quiet. Whoa, my goodness. Holy cow. Well, you know what we're going to do in this case is just launch and get the hell out of here. We're just going to launch, 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 launch. Everything. Extremely noisy. We're not going to be able to detect. You know what? We might even just use Periscope. I don't like to, but... 286. How do I do this? How do I deal with this? This is basically the worst situation for my submarine. Alright, we're going to periscope depth. I have like some crazy ideas about how to deal with this situation. The only problem is if they they see me. Okay, you're not gonna be useful. Let's go ahead and just load a harpoon. I'm probably gonna launch a lot of torpedoes very quickly. Maybe even a harpoon. 
The harpoon will not be the first thing I launch, though. And the sea state is pretty choppy. Yeah, we're not going to be able to detect these things. So I'm relying on the very, very poor visibility conditions to help um, with them not detecting my mask visually, but they'll probably detect it with the radar or such. All I'm going to do is... Um, Sorry, I keep going up. Four, five, eight, die, bye. Raise my ESM mast only. That's good. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. All right, let's just raise the ESM mast. Raise the ESM mast. And see what kind of signatures we can get. Detection threshold. We're well, well within the, or well, well below the detection threshold. So you know what? Let's go ahead and risk it. All right, we're looking for optics. Okay, it's around here, right? Come on, come on, come on. Should be. Echo one, two nine five. Right here. Okay, getting a little bit worse. Come on, come on, come on. Should be here. Should be here. Two nine six. A little bit too far, but I'm basically right here is where it should be. Ah! Sure, it would not be this easy to see, but that's okay. I don't know what the hell is going on. I maybe I can't see visually. We might be limited. Maybe we just really can't see. Like maybe they're too far away. Three hundred one. I mean, we're just we're going right by. Oh, okay. Detection thresholds getting a little worse. Are we actually lower the ESM mast? Too high. Well, we have an idea of where they are, and what's this distance? That's pretty close. Okay, let's just go ahead and launch, and we're going to use active homing. Aye, sir. This is going to be a really weird situation. Passing 100 feet. I'm just going to guide her along the path. So we'll give her some distance before we activate her, but then I'm just, I really am just going to guide her along the path of this ping signal. Oh, oh, it's so noisy. We're just not... We're not going to get anything. Okay, here we go. Looks like it's lining up. Now, let's see what happens. Right in line with that pinging, so that looks good so far. Passing 200 feet. We might as well stay at 200 so we can launch the harpoon if we need. Passing 200 feet. And by the way, where uh, you should be. Very close to the surface. So we're dealing with surface contacts here. I'm not getting their pings anymore. Maybe they're smart. Maybe they're really, really, really smart about it.
Wow, way over there. Alright, go ahead and spin left, see if you can find something. Anything. Alright, let's just try to guide it down this uh, path over here then. We got another ping along this line. Try the other direction. <laughs> it's not the most elegant solution to use your torpedo as a searching device. How far away am I at this point? Yeah, I think they're closer than this. Oops. see where this is with respect to... Yeah, I think that's the original contact again. Oops. And are you close to the surface? Let's bring you a little bit closer. Yeah, we're right on a good path now. Okay, well, a little bit more left and then right. God, they're just about the same spot. Oh, okay, well, that's one way of doing it. Ah, no luck. No luck. Well, there is another way of doing this, and it will get very, very, very exciting. I think we're going to do it. are probably starting to figure out what I mean. <laughs> we already gave away our position. I'm just going to make sure that we aren't going to be hit by torpedoes while these load. We're going to just launch a whole bunch of harpoons. On, torpedo room, tube one ready. Noise is not uh, an issue anyway. We might as well just bang on the side of the hole. Con, torpedo room, tube two ready. All right, now give me... Give me some signals to tame at. By the way, is it going to be... Oh, it's just really shallow here. If we head straight south, let's go ahead and head straight south. Oop, nope, that'll put us... Put them in the baffles. Damn. Well, keep heading south anyways. It will eventually get deeper. <laughs> Maybe. Did I just turn left or right? I thought that was to the port. Yeah, I think it was. Okay, good. Um, Yeah, give me some pings now. Give me something to follow. Well, we're going to have to do this the hard way. We're going to have to induce some launches against us. Oh my gosh, it's really close though. We need this to go active immediately. I think we do it. Good luck. So will the launching of harpoons work out in a desperation ploy to complete the mission? Find out next time. <laughs> As you can tell, I realize that the mission goes on too long and we're going to have to put a cut in the video. So sadly, we're no longer using the narwhal. I'm really, I really find this uh, unfortunate. Would have loved to have taken her for uh, all the way through the campaign. 
Um, anyway, so uh, we'll just call this video to a close here, and we'll see about this whole harpoon launching in shallow waters. Will it work out? Stay tuned. Until then, thanks for watching, and take care.